Hey everybody, Brandy back again, and today I wanted to come to you guys with a video about wig sprays. A lot of people have asked me how long my wigs last. For example, the one that I'm wearing now, which is the Outre Test, which is one of my favorite wigs of all time. I got a lot of questions about how long does this particular wig last, you know, stuff like that. And of course, my question is always kind of, kind of broad as far as like, you know, it depends on how you take care of the wig. Well, you know, I tell you guys to make sure that you're storing your units correctly, make sure you're detangling. But also something that I think, in my opinion, single-handedly works for me are wig sprays. People don't talk about wig sprays a lot and people should because that's gonna help with the longevity of your unit no matter what kind of hair it is. So I normally use wig sprays only on my synthetic hair. So I'm just gonna kind of go into briefly about these wig sprays. And then I'm also gonna tell you my favorite wig spray if you don't already know. There isn't just one type of wig spray. There are many different kinds that you can find at your local beauty supply store. One of the most common are conditioners. So one of the most common ingredients is shea butter, which is going to help condition the fabric or the fibers of the hair, as well as make it smell good. Normally they have like some type of smell good fragrance in there. So it's really nice, it helps to detangle the hair, it helps to keep it not free, especially in the back where you know we have the most matting issues when it comes to synthetic hair. Some are more specific to straight hair, more specific to curly, so make sure that you're checking the label. So uh, I do have an example to show you. This is the Silky and Yaki uh, Conditioner and Detangler. It looks like this. And it's for synthetic hair and natural hair weaves, Remy hair and natural hair for straight hair. So you see what I'm, I'm getting at. So specifically for straight hair. I mean, I think you can use it for other type of hair, but I never tried. I just, because I didn't have a curly wig at the time to try with this, it was straight, so I don't know. I think it worked for every type of hair to be honest with you. Um, this one has olive oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. So this is really good, like I said, to help to condition the fibers of the hair and also, you know, soften it up. This one has a scent to it. I don't think I've ever had a conditioning wig spray without a scent. So this one's very strong. I mean, very strong. So if you have issues with, you know, your hair stinking too, I mean, you won't with this. I had a young lady say in the comment section of one of my videos, I have to find it, but I remember her saying that you can use fabric softener, just kind of distill it in some water and spray it on your synthetic units and it'll help. I did try it and it does work. So if you don't feel like getting a conditioning spray like that, you need a really quick detangler, try a fabric softener because I mean it smells good too and it's not going to harm the hair. I mean your hair is fabric, let's be real, I mean it's fibers, fabric, it's material, it's going to help. So I think that is a really good alternative if you're looking for a wig spray for conditioning and detangling. The next one is fragrance sprays. So it sounds like what it is. It has a fragrance. It's helping your wig to smell good. And in this instance, maybe if you go to a club or if you go out to some type of outing environmental, for example, you're out, you know, outside and your hair gets the, the smell of smoke, debris, any outside smell. You know how people say you smell like outside? Your hair can smell like that too. Well, if you want anything to help that and your conditioning spray does not have a fragrance, you can go to a freshener. Um, I have one right here. This is from Wig and Weave. And this is for natural and synthetic wigs, weave and extensions. It is a herbal refresher and it neutralizes odor. And this one, this one has a really good smell too. It smells to me more like a, a fabric softener. So like I said, a fabric softener, in this case, will work for both the um, conditioning and fragrance. If you guys have seen my um, update review on the LH Beyonce wig that I got from a company called The Wig, um, I tried to use this and this did not work. So maybe this particular brand might not work for you if you have a really, really stinky unit. But I think, I mean, as far as like smoke, if you go to a club or like you know outside smells this may work for you but if you have a very very stinky wig maybe has a strong factory smell this will not do it for you so before you waste your money on this i'm letting you know now so the next kind of sprays are shine sprays again very straight to the point they help with the shininess of the hair for people who wear synthetic wigs for synthetic hair, you know that after a while, the shine that you have when you first opened up the pack, 
the shine will not be there after a while. Like, you know, the more you wear it, it's like wearing tears, it's gonna go. So if you still wanna keep that shine that you had in the beginning, you can use a shine spray to bring back that nice luster that you're looking for in your hair. So the next one that I came across, and it was something that I never knew existed until recently when I started to do research for this video, is called net sprays. So a net spray's purpose is to shield your hair from environmental sun damage. A lot of people don't think about this, but a lot of times you wear hair and it just starts to get dull over time. And you may think, oh, this is getting old. Sometimes it's because when you're out in the sun, the sun is taking the color from that from the fibers. It's kind of like having a sun uh, shirt out for a long time in the back of your car and then the color starts to fade. Same situation. Well, it happens to your wigs. And a net spray is going to protect your hair to keep that nice color that you've had before so nothing fades. I do want to try some out to see how I like it and to let you guys know if that's worth it because I've I've never heard of that before. I think I think that's really cool though. So the last one I want to talk about is an antibacterial. And I think this one is very important for people who like to bond in their synthetic hair or sew-ins or any of that kind of thing. So an antibacterial is going to help to get any bacterial, the odor, any type of fungus or mold that may come about in the hair. There are times where the hair may get moist and it may not dry fully, which grows your mold, the fungus, anything in your hair. I know some people, if you've seen the videos on YouTube or on some type of place where you see people have mold that starts to go on in their head, that's because when their hair got wet or whatever product they were using did build up and it created mold. Well, this antibacterial will help you if your hair gets wet before, let me make this clear, before you have the mold issue in your hair, anything like that. You will spray this into your hair and it will help to eliminate the possibility of mold. Make sure though, if you are gonna wash your hair while you have a sew-in, or anything it gets wet please make sure that your hair is dry take a blow dryer if need be and try to blow dry it as dry as possible that is the best way to prevent mold or anything like that just put it out there because some people just don't know but that can happen especially if you have your hair in for too long if you wear your weaves for an excess of six months or even six months to that's just too long your hair needs to breathe your hair needs to you know air out Antibacterial wig sprays will not help with the the mold if you've had your hair in for a very long time. It's not gonna do anything anymore. This is the treatment that you want to use before the problem happens. Okay. More times than not, you will find that you will have more than one of these different type of sprays combined together to make a super spray. In that case, I mean it's a lot easier for you to find different things. I'm gonna give you guys two recommendations for wig sprays. So the first one is the Salon Pro 30 Second Antibacterial Spray. So this one is great for ladies who like to, ladies or gentlemen, that like to bond in their hair, sew in their synthetic hair. And this conditions and detangles synthetic and human hair. This one is going to eliminate dryness and itchiness. There are times where your hair may be flaky, um, it gets really dry up there, starts to itch. Well, this will help with that problem, so it will condition also your scalp as well. And for the ladies and gentlemen that like to bond in, it will maintain the glue, but also keep the hair soft and healthy. So, like I said, for everyone who likes to bond in their hair, I think this is the best wig spray for you because you know for a fact that your glue won't go anywhere. Like for example, if you have in a 27 piece, I think this will be a good spray to use, especially if you're gonna need that 27 piece in. If you're trying to save it, trying to stretch the hair a little bit longer, I think this spray will be the best for you. I don't have a bottle of it with me, but I will insert a picture and I will put a link down below to where you can get the spray from. So the next one is my holy grail and honestly I think it's single-handedly the one product that has held me down and has helped me prolong every single wig that I've had for a very long time. So this is called the Awesome Synthetic Wig Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So this, this spray here, I talked about this spray in a couple videos and I think I talked about it in the update when I did this hair review. My roommate was into wigs first and 
she took me to the beauty supply store to go find my first wig well i knew i needed something to take care of it because it was kind of it's like what do you do with a synthetic wig like you can't wash it like you normally would natural hair so i went in there and i saw this spray it was a smaller bottle at first i was like let me try to see if i like it let me tell you something this is the best wig spray that i've ever had in life and it smells so good it moisturizes um it says here moisturizes replenishes um promotes the long life of your wig detangles hair prevents dryness easy combing promotes silkiness and shine promotes body and volume provides freshness feeling so it really does everything um it doesn't say that it has a net it's not a net spray or has a net protection but I honestly think it does. I've had wigs look exactly the same from the day that I bought them. Like, for example, Tess never looks dif never look different. This Tess in particular, I did not have this spray in the beginning, so it does feel a lot different than the first one that I had. But I use this one every day for the other one, and it looks exactly like it did out, out of the bag. Like, it never lost any luster. It never lost any color. Like, it didn't fade on me at all. So I think this one is probably the best bet if you're looking for one. Now, since I talked about this product, I have not found it anywhere. It seems like everybody kind of knows about it without telling everybody. Um, I'll leave a link to where you can get this wig spray from. Also on the back, it'll tell you how to wash your wig and then use this to condition. On the back, it says for daily used wig spray water before applying. I guess you're supposed to put water on your hair before applying this. I don't think you need to do that, honestly. It works fine by itself, what's the point? This stuff has an amazing smell that stays in the hair and doesn't smell like, I don't know, it doesn't smell like fabric softener to me, but it smells, it's like a more of a hair care type of smell, like when you have like a, like naturals know, when you can smell your product in your hair like the whole time, that's what it smells like to me. I love this product and I definitely recommend it, like I said, it's not that expensive either. Um, I love it so much that I got two because I already know if I tell y'all about this, I'm never gonna see it again. So I like to stock up as much as possible. I just want to make this video really brief, kind of just to give you a rundown on what you can do because I feel that people are buying wigs, buying wigs, buying wigs, and you really don't have to. Like you could buy one good wig, find your favorite, you could buy it and make sure that you're just taking care of it. A wig spray is gonna help you get that, that bang for your buck. You can buy you a $19 wig and stretch it with a good wig spray. And a lot of people won't tell you that because they wanna keep you buying and buying their, their hair. You don't have to do that, like let's be real, you don't. So that was really it for the video. So if you guys have any questions about any wig sprays or you want me to go in more detail with this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I just wanted to touch on stuff, kind of give you a basic knowledge of different wig sprays. I didn't really want to go too far into it. Um, check the description box below. I will put the links for my two recommendations in the description box below. Um, I also have the links for these if you want them as well. So that was all for my video. I'll see you guys in my next one.